So these were submitted anonymously through our uh, Google Forms, and we said, what relationship questions do you have for your teachers? Okay. I just have like a list of questions and I'm just gonna read them off and okay. you can answer however you want to. Okay. My girlfriend refuses to wear matching clothes with me. I told her it's a deal breaker and gave her an ultimatum. She says I'm overreacting. Who's right? Um, she's right. She should break up with you immediately. Um, if I were to answer that truthfully, I think that girl needs to find a new boyfriend because any guy that wants to wear matching clothes with his girlfriend is no good. Clothes thing is obnoxious and a violation of the U.S. Constitution. So, no, that relationship's over. Sorry. Yeah, yeah don't dress like Raggedy Ann and Andy. That's that's, that's a tragedy. Yeah, that's no. She is definitely right. And um, match matching clothes, like, I mean. That's kind of parental and condescending, um, unless it's voluntary and you're both excited about it. So I think just lay off um, or find someone else who wants to have that sort of parental vision of love. It's just not a priority. Never has been for me. <laughs> have a hard time answering those. My girlfriend does this thing where she kisses other guys as a joke, but I'm starting to think it's not that funny. Is this I don't a, think it's that funny. <laughs> is this a problem for us? I think that's a problem. We better have a discussion. Communicate. Communicate that yeah. to her. It's like, it's like diseases and stuff. You know, common cold, just getting a cough. Whooping cough's no good. Whooping cough. You know, you'll get, uh, what's the kissing disease? Mono. Mono. Yeah. You yeah. will get mono. You will get mono. How does she kiss? Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's a whole there's, lot of... There's a kiss, and then there's a kiss. And if it's a kiss, that's um, a problem. Bye bye. Well, it's probably a problem if you define it as a problem. So if in your relationship you've decided that you're going to be physically intimate only with each other, then it's a problem, and it seems like talking to her about it is probably a fair thing. But if you haven't made that commitment, then sorry. It is, because it's the height right now of cold and flu season. So she might just wait till the end of March. I have a huge crush on this girl, but I'm worried it won't go anywhere because I think she only sees me as her student. What should I do? <laughs> Can you read that again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some sort of contingency is probably a good idea. Right? Some plan B. Ask her out. Then stay far away. That That's creep creepy. That creeps me out. <laughs> yeah. I'm, a, I'm a having a little issue over here. Um, sorry. That is a no-go. A non-starter, no dice. Ah, uh, I don't understand the context, nor the parameters of the aforementioned question. That's my answer. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to choose between two people who like me and who I like. I feel like I need to commit to one or neither, but I don't know who to choose or how to figure it out. I've known both for quite a while and genuinely like them both, but my friends definitely like one better. Help. Um, why do you, why do you have to choose again? Who's cuter? <laughs> you gotta go with your own personal feelings. Don't go with what your friends want. Take a look at what you feel and figure out who you like to be around the most. Uh, I wouldn't listen to your friends. Um, I'd get out a quarter and flip it and go with that. Um, it's worked for me for years, actually, for years. All my relationships, quarter, quarter. On the other hand, your friends may be onto something. It's true. Figure out if you can figure, see if you can find out why they don't like this person. My parents hate my girlfriend. How can I keep them happy while still staying in the relationship? I don't know that parental happiness is all that important. I don't know if you can, but maybe even signaling to your parents that you're willing to talk about this, that it matters that they're happy, but you also care about this girl, maybe that would be enough to kind of keep the peace. Tell them, tell them you dumped her and that you're hanging out with your buds. Maybe help them to get to know your girlfriend better. Maybe they just don't know her. No, you probably can't. No, you can't. And Trying to hide it's not going to work. No. You might want to find out why they hate her. Can you explain to your parents why you value your girlfriend? 
That'd be a start. Just lie to your parents. I'm a senior in high school and I've never dated anyone. Is something wrong with me? No! Thumbs up to you! Dating in high school sucks! Absolutely not, no. Good, good choice. Wait, wait till you're in college to date. You're, you're so, smarter so than your peers. <laughs> it's all good. Wait for college or basic training or something beyond high school. I don't really think people in high school should date anyway. Um, I, I, I just, I'm not that you're not ready or you know that I'm being snooty or anything like that. But I just think college, and, you know, like I, I don't know. There, there ought to be a lot. Maybe 21. You know, 21. You can date at 21. Something like that. My hands are constantly sweaty. My teachers and peers make fun of me for it. Oh. My, <laughs> my significant other wants to hold hands, but I have no choice but to refuse because of their perpetually moist state. Should I out myself as a member of the Clammy Clan or hide my secret forever? Out. Out yourself. Some people have that issue. You can't help it. You just, it's who you are. You get a pair of Michael Jackson gloves. <laughs> oh, tell, tell, tell. Just say it. Look, my hands are always sweaty. I would love to make out with you till kingdom come, but we can't hold hands. Sorry, honey. Ah, uh, gloves. <laughs> gloves. You gotta own that stuff eventually. I mean, this is your, your this, is, this is what you're stuck with, so don't use hiding it. They want to hold your hand after you, like, sweat it upon them. They might. Be working. Wet hands are gross. See a doctor. <laughs> um, if you're married, how did you know that your spouse was the one? Um, easy conversation. Um, just got along great. Excited to see each other. Um, uh, like a crescendo of happiness. Well, she was the dental assistant. I took my braces off in college. I had braces in college, and so. Uh, that's how we got started to dating. After the braces were off, I asked her out, and uh, we just connected. Well, there's no, like, magic. Magic choirs sing from the heavens sort of thing. Um, you know, you, you find a good person, and you work hard to, to have a relationship. My spouse? Oh my gosh, I fell in love with him in the rearview mirror of the car. I am not kidding. He was driving me to Iowa City from some conference we were at, and he looked, we met in the rearview mirror, and he smiled in the rearview mirror, and I was like, it was over. <laughs> Ever since. I didn't. Yeah. That's a good, que that's a good question. I don't know. That's uh, an intuition. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, when I asked her, she laughed in my face, <laughs> and then like, you know, after that's awesome. After five minutes of giggling, like she finally said yes. So that was, you know, a little bit of racket. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. I can't remember how I knew, but you kind of know. <laughs>